650 10 to 7 here. No bread, no pasta, no crackers. You know, if you're on one of those gluten free diets, you know the drill. More than 3 million Americans now follow a gluten free diet, but a new study shows many aren't as gluten free as they think. Here's consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. The number of people following a gluten free diet has tripled since the year 2009. As a consumer, you think if the nutrition label is listed as gluten free, it is. But you're about to find out that might not be the case. A new study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows people on a gluten free diet may be eating more of the protein than they think. Those who were following a gluten free diet were still getting an average of 300 to 400 milligrams of gluten a day. Experts say people with gluten sensitivity should eat no more than 10 milligrams of gluten a day. Restrict certain types of grains uh, or grain based products you can eat. No bread. To minimize your gluten intake, read labels very carefully. Look for hidden amounts of gluten in condiments and beverages. Instead of processed foods, eat more fruits, veggies, meats, cheeses and eggs, which are naturally gluten free and watch out for cross-contamination. Even a tiny bit of gluten left on a kitchen surface can transfer to your food. In the past, a gluten-free diet was mostly followed by people with celiac disease. But today, about 72% of gluten-free dieters don't have this chronic autoimmune disorder. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.